Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Koher has released an Arabic model. This Arabic model not only seems quite competitive and performant when it comes to instruction following, but more importantly, it is geared towards a rag. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will also see how to do a very simple rag with it, which you can obviously scale as much as you like as per your own use case. Let's try to first understand what exactly is this model. So this is an Arabic model, which is command R7B. It is a 7 billion parameter model, open source and designed for advanced language processing plus it can process tasks in Arabic, MSA dialect and English. This model also has a lot of key features. For example, it is an autoregressive language model with optimized transformer architecture. The context length is huge, which is 128K. I mean, huge for the 7 billion parameter model context, I mean. Multilingual, Arabic and English, and it can be configured for conversational or instructive modes. So text only model the license is cc by nc uh, which is not apache 2 i hope that coher also uh, reevaluate this licensing otherwise their models are really really amazing so now let's try to get it installed and we will see how to uh, perform rag with it and also the general tasks in arabic before that let me also give a huge shout out to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video this is the VM I'm going to use and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. I'm creating a virtual environment and by the way, if you also want to rent a GPU or CPU or VM on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon of 50%. So do check them out. Let's wait for this to get created shouldn't take too long and now let's install the prerequisites torch and transformers are the main ones let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPod. iGenPod lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description also <clears throat> sorry also this is a gated model so we need to log into hugging face and for that you would need to go to this huggingface.co website and grab your free read token i already have the token so i'm just going to paste it here let me press capital y and we are logged in let me first uh let launch my jupyter notebook and then we will download the model let's first download this model and the model is being downloaded there are uh, four shards of it and the um, while the model gets downloaded let me also show you that i have covered a lot of other arabic llms in the previous one or two years so if you just go there you see that command r the actual model uh, from <clears throat> sorry from cohere is one of the best models still in multilinguality which includes arabic but other than that for pure arabic models we already have covered this asgpt silma was quite good this Della was also quite a uh, good it was multimodal and then there were some benchmarks some data sets which i have covered and few other things so if you're interested in specific arabic models you can search the channel you should be able to find heaps of videos around it and not only arabic i have covered a lot of other uh, diverse languages so if you're interested go for it and the model is loaded let's do the inference with it so i'm just going to check out first some of the arabic stuff so first um it says marhaba so look i can't speak arabic so i will be taking help from google translate to see what exactly it is saying but anyway let's try out i think this just say hello something like that so it is a greeting so let me run this and there you go it has given us this response so i'm just going to copy it and i will go to this google translate hopefully it will detect this language it says welcome i'm fine thank you for your question hi how can i help you today 
and that sounds about right okay so now let's try out a bit harder one so in this one what i'm going to say i'm not going to uh, shorten it just so arabic speakers can read it but for the english speakers uh, what it says is that write a descriptive passage about the aroma and flavors of traditional arabic coffee also known as ava or kahwa served in a traditional arabic setting so i'm going to run it let's check the vram consumption in real time so it says just touch over 18 gig of vram not bad for a 7 billion parameter model okay so let's wait for this to come back and there you go it has come back with the response and i have no idea what this means so let me paste it here in the google translate maybe the whole of it and definitely if you're an arabic speaker please please uh, let us know if this uh, what do you think about this in arabic so it is more than this language limits i'm just going to remove some of it okay, let me do that quickly okay so this is a passage and it starts with read tense with a precise touch the read pen glides arabic calligraphy also unfolds side by side intricate design a symphony of line the dance of beauty where meaning is intertwined looks quite good to me in english but please confirm it in what do you think in arabic does it make sense and if it does what is the level of quality okay now let's try to see how the rag works in it so for rag all you need to do is to just give it this document now for the purpose of the demo what we are doing we are just simply taking these documents which are the comma delimited array or list and then we are asking it a question from it so this question should get an answer grounded in these responses from these documents and then in the usual stuff we are encoding the input we are generating the output with the help of this model and then we are decoding it back and printing the output so let me quickly run it and there you go there is this response so i have just used google translate to um translate these stuff so i'll also show you actually so for example if i copy this first one and i remove the previous and then you see it is talking about some suggested dish that combines flavors from several arab countries and then these are the stuff where it is talking about some of the flavors and this is the answer which it has given us so let me pick up the answer and translate it i'm just going to put it here now my request to my arabic viewers is that please confirm because i think it has uh, as far as i know it has taken the inspiration from these documents and this answer is grounded in there so you see it is talking about the rich diversity of cuisine and then talking about a lot of um, unique dishes from lebanese from iraq and other countries so look i would say pretty impressive quality looks quite good but i would leave the final decision to my arabic viewers so let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you